Hey everybody and welcome to Fallout 4 with commentary. Now just to get started, Mr. Mansion, I have got a Fallout 4 walkthrough without commentary on my channel, so if you prefer without commentary walkthroughs, feel free to check that out. And I got um, walkthroughs for all the DLC. If you can't hear me over the music, I apologize. I did look for a slider in the settings that would affect how, uh, you know, affect the main menu music, but I couldn't find one. So I'm going to have to do my best to try and uh, increase the volume of the mic a bit in uh, post, you know, editing. If you could be so kind as to hit that like button below, hit the comment section as well with your favourite Fallout game or what you like best about Fallout 4. Or what you least liked about Fallout 76. There's a lot of reasons. I'll be more than happy to hear them. And possibly hit that um, subscribe button. Uh, there'll be, I think there should be a prompt at the end of the video, the end of the episode. So yeah, feel free to hit that and you can keep up to date then with all the walkthroughs etc that I'll be releasing this year. Now just a little warning I suppose to start off with. Um, all the episodes for this walkthrough will be under an hour, and this is a very long game from memory. So I think as far as I can remember, anyway. Um, so this will probably have a lot of episodes. This walkthrough, uh, not sure how many, but there will be a lot because I'll be covering as much as possible in this game. And this is the first proper open-world game that I've done, uh, walkthrough-wise, because I've been building up to this. So. Uh, after this, I'm probably going to be doing either Witcher or Skyrim or Red Dead. I'm not sure. But I haven't played this in a while. I've uh, been meaning to. So I thought I'd give it a go. Now, let's get started, shall we? I'll shut up and you can enjoy the intro. That's if the game loads. I forget Bethesda games have horrendous loading times. On the bright side, you can hear me now because the music stopped. There has been a few updates to this game as well since I last played it. My great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. 
for my infant son. Because of my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war... War never changes. Changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. That intro was deep, right? Very deep. It's a shame they didn't get Ron Pillman to do the intro, though. I kind of get why. It kind of fits with this intro, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, I would have liked, like, you know, Ron Pillman to do it. That would have been fun. Alright, facial hair. What have I got? What have I got to work with? I just want a, I just want a beard, a regular beard. Is that so hard to ask? There's like so much to ask for, you know. Hey, wait, what's this? Ooh, I like the beard. Alright, that's better. More of a pointy nose, I guess. Ooh, wow. Yeah, alright, I'll go for that one. Hun, you think my nose is too big? I definitely thought your nose was too big. Um, Trained eyes, regular eyes, regular eyes. Sean totally has your eyes. Looking good, if I do say so myself. Your eyes. Yeah. They're one of my favorite things about I'll you. go with the dirt, why not? No hair. This is a big thing. Oh, what the hell is that? What in the hell? Uh, alpha male? Uh, ponytail. Top knot. So I'm assuming there's a go. Yeah, there you go. Ronin. Ah, there's only like a. Oh, right, you never mind. There's quite a few. Balding. Midlifer. Ombre. Right, let's find, try and find something. Alright, yeah, I'll go with that one. Hmm, this new haircut's really working for me. Uh, I'm pretty much happy with the way the character looks. I won't be seeing his face too much. Although they do have, like, proper conversations in this, unlike the others. Alright. Back. Change. Hey, my turn, big guy. And now I get to make... Wait for it. My sexy goth wife. That's right, you heard me. Uh, right. Face. Picket fences. Uh. Tip me a. Uh, does her head look a bit bigger? She looks like those aliens from Star Trek. Right, let me go down. Let me see if I can find a proper spiky looking hairstyle. What the hell was that? Fairy tales. Young at heart. Pick the fences. Agent X. Alright, let me go for that one. New hairstyle? I love it. Uh, 
trying to think now uh, what I could uh, do. Colour? No, not that one. Colour of the lips. Alright, extras. Makeup. Can I get white though, wouldn't I? I don't know, that's maybe close to gothic as I can get, I guess. There we go. <laughs> Uh, this is gonna be fun. Eyeliner. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. Okay. Yeah, I'll do. Hmm. So pretty. <laughs> uh, okay, I think that's pretty much it, right? I got eyeliner in, have I? Um, I don't know about that one. Is that a bit too much? <laughs> right, let me go for this one. I still got it. What the hell is that? Oh my god. Oof. Yeah, that was back from her gang. Uh, motorbike club days. The scar. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to do anything like that. Can't think of anything else to do, no? This is probably as gothic as I can make her. Go in the middle, shall we? There you go. All right. Now switch Let me back just over slide in here. to the other guy. I'm gonna change his hair to jet black though, because I think that looks a bit better. Uh, extras. No, that wasn't it, was it? There she is, my sexy goth wife. There you go, jet black. I like it. Wait, no, I want the... Oh, can you not change the colour of the fish, Le? Clearly not. I clean up pretty nice. I'll go pale. I can't go... I can't get the same complexion as she's got, though. She looks like a robot. She looks like one of the synths from later in the game. Uh all right. I should do it. How do I think I'm done? There you go, my sexy goth wife and me. Confirm character. I didn't check his body type, did I? Oh well, we should be fine. Huh? Hmm, just getting ready. Let's see what life in the in 2077 is like. You got a Braxo. A Braxo for all your cleaning needs. Love the fact he, he, this is like a, a regular day to him. So I imagine he just goes around the house saying stuff like this. A uh, Braxo for all your cleaning needs. Ah, broken again. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. Your coffee, 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. 
road to perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Does that go down there wonder if I drink it? Did it? Oh, I can't drink it again. That was clearly bad coffee. He's only taking one sip and he's like, no more. Sugar bombs. 100% daily value. Uh, that's a lovely day out there. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Vault Tech. Saddle up Salisbury steak. Great yeah, A plus. I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Hmm. More of the same. Looks like the milk got delivered. New Coca Cola. Ice cold. But no sunset sarsaparilla. It's a little early to be drinking. No, it's not. Now, who left those here? Have you got something to tell me? You hiding something from me? It's Codsworth. Codsworth. He owns them. Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. She comes for you every day. Every day? What am I doing? He comes here every day. And I'm not home. I'm so proud of her. Good morning! vault -Tec calling! vault -Tec? Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, vault -Tec is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. I believe you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Ooh. Vault 111. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Two things. Imagine if he spent. If they, imagine if he just asked the question. There's enough room, right? And he's like, no, just for you, not your family. I imagine, like, I, I don't understand why you said you can't bring the robot. Surely the robot would be of service to the vault. But whatever. Sure. Uh, let's do hello? it. Hello. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Ah, okay. I haven't thought of a name actually. Uh, screw it. I'll just put my regular name in there. I say regular name. I'll just put that in there. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. No one calls me by it anyway. Uh, I'll try to think. That wasn't luck. No, I'm oh, I can't remember now. There is, um... Yeah, that's it. Like, if you put a ton of stuff into the intelligence perk, like a ton of points, it does help later on. Like, a lot. 
yeah, I'll go back a few inception in that one. But a lot into uh, I'll leave that as it is. Um Yeah, that seems fine. Three charisma at the moment, and I can always upgrade it later on. But uh, the big thing is intelligence, because you get just get like a ten of experience points early in the game, and that really helps you later on. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um. Thanks again. Hey, you weirdo. What's peace of mind? That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Mr. Nova, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. I, I actually take it back. I, did, I didn't think... Godsworth would take. I, I've, I've put names into that name field before, like my actual name, and he does not call me it. I put Nova in there, and he's like, "Hello, Mister Nova." I'm like, "What? How? How did they judge, like the the list of names you can actually speak?" Okay. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a little bit. He loves that. Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, Mom, you should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? Shouldn't that be mom? M-A-M. M-A apostrophe or whatever. A-M. Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes. Blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. We do, we do have... We do have coming in. That's, um... Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We, we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. That door opened by itself. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. On the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. They could have Thank said you. our names. I mean, good really. luck, ma'am. Thank God, you just follow me. I mean, that, that was What's no description. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Just like adult male, adult female, infant. That could be anybody. Step on the platform in the center. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on!
This game did have a half. This is like a, it does have a really good intro, though. I will say that much. We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, no. Don't, be. don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. Ah, even now. I guess it's been a few years since this came out. This is just a great looking game, isn't it? This is one of the few games I've actually got at, at midnight. I went to the midnight launch and um, st queued up outside my local game and need your Welcome. suits before ah, we can take you well worth it. Right Here you are. Head down the hall there. Right hey there. That was a nuke. A goddamn nuke. Yeah, yeah. Move out of the way so I can get my outfit. True. Be gone. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. It's down the hallway See? right there. Yeah, I know. I'm following him. Shut up. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. The vault suit is designed to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Just step in here and put your vault suit on. I thought I already put it on. and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. <sighs> Occupant vitals normal. Doesn't seem right to put the baby in there Procedure along with it. Complete. That doesn't seem safe. Man, he just killed my sexy goth wife. I will have to have my revenge. For sexy goth wives everywhere.
has to be a release! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. Goodbye, my sexy goth wife. I wish I knew you better. Uh, Alright, so I'm the only guy who survived, am I? It looks like it. These are not comfortable positions to be in, surely. So yes, yet another astounding success by vault -Tec. For anyone who isn't aware of the whole uh, Fallout mythos, now vault -Tec, every pretty much majority of the vaults, not every vault necessarily, but the majority of the vaults are um, social experiments, or just experimentation for technology's sake. Like there's one vaults which are just like had one or two like I think it was like 99 women and like one man oh well though and there was like another one which was just a technology use where it's like um just, just to clone one man so repeatedly over like over and over again and this one clearly was to use to uh giant roaches what the hell rad roaches to be exact and this one was just yeah, used to freeze people for a long amount of time. Uh, I'll take that actually. Take uh, the all the random bits of junk that I find. Cause that comes in handy later on. I'll take this. Uh, cups are a good uh, source of ceramic, I think. And as we go outside into the wider world, ceramic just becomes a bitch to find. Ah, I didn't know that was there. I've always used my fists for the next bit. Well, that's good to know. Ah, shit. Go away. What happened here? Where is everyone? What happened to his boots? I, I can understand the sleeves, I suppose. What happened to his boots? Like, did the ants take him? Did the rad roaches take him? Ah! Yeah, there you go. I, I, yeah, it's all coming back to me now. You get, like, weapon customizations in this game, don't you? And you can make some really sick weapons. Well, if you've got enough, like, you know, materials and whatnot. Alright, what am I doing? Ah, cool. Nice. Coming back later for you. I've never actually come back to get that. I should probably do that in this walkthrough. Is this all that's left? Of this guy, yeah. Alright, what's in here? We're now, Volvo instructions. Alright, let's see what this has to say. Vault 111 is designed to test the long term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. The staff will be on short-term assignment to monitor basic cardiopulmonary and cognitive functions. Long-term monitoring will be handled remotely by vault -Tec technicians. Under no circumstance is suspension to be disrupted. This includes the administration of life-saving measures. Okay, so if they die, don't, don't help them. And uh, your staff is also considered expendable in subordination or attempts to evacuate prematurely are capital violations. Unused cryogenic pods are to be preferred method for cadaver disposal. Ugh. 
Well, that's all very grim. In a long dream, they're making a cryogenic freezing available in portable uh, on demand form. The uh, cryolator is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we're in no short supply of chemicals and components. I need to tinker with the prototype. It's a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for the all clear signal. Which I assume never came. Uh, okay, I'm not going to read all that. Overseas log. Here we go. So, preparations. The final staff orientation is complete. All but a few of the residents down in Sanctuary Hills have been enrolled, and several from Concord as well. Voltax supervisors come up this week to do a technical review with me. This vault is ready to open. I can only imagine what wonders our residents will get to witness. The notion of leaping forward in time. I almost wish I could join them and see the promise of the future realized. October 23rd. So it's happened. We were lucky most of the staff was nearby when the early warning came through. Blah blah blah. Resident admittance went smoothly. Everyone made it. Even the family that waited until the last minute. Us, basically. It wasn't last minute. I got there pretty early. It took me, I got like two, three minutes from those. Well, even that. Two minutes? Maybe a minute and a half? How dare he? Uh, these must have been. They must have been too overwhelmed to question the cryogenic pods. Well, uh, yeah, I suppose so, because I, I would have questioned them. I'd be like, what, why, what are all these pods doing? Why am I getting in it? Uh, strange issue today with pod C3. Subject appeared to be having heart palpitations. Nothing life threatening, but unusual. But unusual. We realized almost too late that the pod was malfunctioning. The cryogenic array almost started thawing her out. I only hope the systems are reliable. Okay. Yeah, so this is basically him realizing that nothing's left, of, well, not nothing, but uh, there's nothing left of Vault Tech on the surface. Even though we're near the end of the 180 day mandatory shelter period, supplies were never intended to last much more than that. And despite my best efforts, people are beginning to question what we're doing down here. If uh, people think we're going to leave and 180 days are up, they're insane. The radioactive exposure would still be potent enough to fry everyone in the vault. Uh, fry everyone if the vault seals are breached that early. The whole point of the old Cleo was to receive additional instructions from the main office. A mutiny? A fraction. A fa not fraction, sorry. A faction led by the security personnel have turned on me, demanding they be allowed to leave the vault. It's I will not open the door to the irradiate uh, to be irradiated to death out there. I'm consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prioritizing who deserves what little food we have left. I've been too damn generous with the rations. If people don't like it, well, that's fewer mouths to feed. I hope you guys appreciated my little, uh, little flourish there with the voice. Alright, let's go. Okay, so yeah, basically, no no signal came and they all starved to death or whatever. All the rad roaches got them. Oh god. I've missed most of my shots. Oh my god, how have I missed? <laughs> Thank god I got a lot of ammo. I, I think I missed like every nearly every shot. Freed. He didn't miss that one. Uh, there's probably more around here somewhere. Has to be. Can't just be one. Yeah, there we go. Where is he? Hey! That was nice. Anything else of you? I have to get reacquainted with the controls. Is anyone alive? 
anyone get out? Am I the only one left? Yep. Eh, yeah, Pip Boy. So there you go, that's the pit boy. Uh, I'm sure it's that like circle. Um Yeah, you can also zoom in, which is what I'm gonna which is what I do to see better. Uh if you bought a certain edition of this game as well, you actually got like a life sized pit boy which you can fit in your forearm and you can sort of like it, it was um compatible with some phones, you can sort of slip the phone in there, download an app that connects to the game through your PlayStation or Xbox or whatever. And uh, you could just use like your Pip Boy on your mobile, and it would like affect the game. I didn't get it because it would cost like a ridiculous amount of money, but I know people who did. And to my knowledge, never used it. The loud is it gonna make a loud noise? I wonder. Ah. That was actually quieter than I was expecting. I remember in Fallout 3 that was quite loud when the vault door opened. Almost like nothing's changed. Alright, let's uh. Actually, I'm gonna take a look around here for a bit. Not a bit, but you know. Just a little bit. Take all the glass bottles. I'll take that wrench. I'll even take the folder. Take that fan. <laughs> Just take everything. Anything that I can throw into the uh, settlement. What's it, what do you call it? Inventory and break it down. It's exactly as I remembered it when I left. Nothing's changed. The bombs did hardly any damage whatsoever. And see, there you go. You got like 24 XP for just getting uh, locations, which usually you don't get that much. So if I upgrade um, intelligence fully, I should be leveling up like no one's business. Godsworth, you survived. As I live and breathe. 
free. Oh, it's it's really you. Codsworth? You're you're still here. So other people could still be alive too. But of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International? <laughs> but you seem the worse for wear. Best not let the wife see you in that state, hmm? Where is the missus, by the way? She's... in a better place. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, uh, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? He's been kidnapped. He's been kidnapped, Codsworth. Go find my boy. Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you? A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give and take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> That means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car, the car, how do you polish rust? <laughs> wow. What do you know, Codsworth? I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. A holotape? What's on it? I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Any standard holotape reading device should be able to play it back. Oh, like that Pip-Boy on your arm. That should work brilliantly. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The Mrs. and young Sean may turn up yet. Eh, uh, Sean sure might. Um, anything dangerous? Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, sir. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? E yes. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir. <laughs> Which one was my house again? Was it this one? Yeah, but it was. I actually forget quite a lot <laughs> about this game, so that's good. It means that when I'm playing through this, a lot of it will be like, oh, cool. Instead of, ah, I saw that coming. Where do you go? Is he in the house? Yeah, yeah there he is. Found 
Get down from the ceiling. Codsworth. Mr. Nova, the Mrs. and young Sean, they aren't here. Come on, Codsworth. I need your help. Where can I go? Well, you could head into the city. Concord is nearby. But the people there are as put together as I am. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure the home front. Alright, I'll make a start anyway. I've got long left, I think, for <laughs> like my time limit uh, for this episode. But I've gotten. I've got negative like, all the intro pretty much done. Me, myself, I don't count the intro done until I get um, to Concord and do everything there, but te technically I'm in the game now, in like the main part of the game, so it's all good. I do want to get to the Red Rocket Station. I'll take that. That's a doggy. Hello. Hello, boy. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You lose your owner, buddy. Okay, then. Let's stick together. Yeah. I got myself a cute dog. I'm so happy. Him and, I think, Nick, the synth, are probably, like... My favorite companions, the dog and the synth. There's also that robot that becomes a woman. But yeah, all, all that's to come. Because yeah, I haven't played this in a while and I do plan on doing a lot of the side quests. Hence why I said in the beginning it might be a long walkthrough. Uh, I won't be surprised if it's like nigh on close to like 100 episodes or whatever. Because I'm not planning on doing... Um, like long episodes I'm hoping to do a few like I'm hoping they would be like between 30 to 45 minutes so probably around half hour each you know half hour to 45 so I thought that was a pretty decent uh, length I don't want to I don't, I don't do them too long um, but yeah I'll probably end this episode here before I enter Concord because I know that's a pretty lengthy sequence Hope you all enjoyed the episode. Hope you're all enjoying the commentary as well. I'll be, I'm going to try and take the game a little bit more seriously. Uh, I did have a bit of fun of this intro. But I'm going to take the game and what I'm doing a bit more seriously in the next few episodes. Um, yeah, so if you could leave a like, hit the comment section below. And possibly, if you're feeling up to it, hit that subscribe button as well. To keep up to date with the rest of this walkthrough. Uh, that would be very much appreciated and would help a great deal. For now, though, this is pretty much it. So, take care.